What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Asakura, though, you never knows best, and I know this is probably really random and unexpected. I don't think anybody would have seen this coming on the channel. Uh, but a surprising amount of you have been asking for it a lot lately, and people have been coming to the chat asking me, Hey Lotus, when's the next time you're going to play Tekken? Will you ever go back to Tekken? Will you ever go back to Tekken? What happened to Tekken? And uh, for those of you who don't know, which I presume is probably most of you, since this is predominantly a DBFZ channel, I mean, obviously I play other games here and there, but it's, it's mainly DBFZ, and it's uh, usually what I stream the most, although lately I haven't been streaming it as much because I've just been enjoying other things, but... Um, yeah, I grew up playing Tekken. Tekken was actually the very first fighting game I ever played uh, as a kid, and when Tekken 7 came out, it was the first time I tried to get like really good at a fighting game. Little did I know just how difficult Tekken actually is uh, when you actually start trying to learn how to play it, but... Lit. Perfect. I say as I perfect my opponent, and this is after me coming off a hiatus of not playing the game in I don't know how long. Um, but to be fair, while I do think Huarang is a character who, you know, people who play Tekken, depending on who you are, they have a lot of negative things to say about this character. I think he's one of the cool, well, I think he's the coolest character in the game. Uh, I'm surprised I'm remembering this much about how to play this game right now, considering I haven't played it in so long. I could have gotten a way better punish on that, but it's okay. I'm doing pretty good. Granted, this guy is two ranks below me. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Huarang is a character that I think is one of the coolest in the game, if not the coolest in the game. Um, it's him and Kunimitsu. Uh, I have a lot I want to talk about. I don't even know where to start. Um, basically, uh, I grew up playing Tekken. Tekken 3 was my first Tekken I ever played. Tekken 7 came out. I was like, yo, I want to get really good at fighting games. This game's really hard. I never really made it past the, the, the gold ranks, I don't think. I don't think I ever made it past yellow ranks. I, maybe I got to orange ranks. I can't really remember for sure. Um, but yeah, but as it pertains to Huarong, he's a character I liked a lot as a kid, but I, I played more Eddie Gordo and Jin Kazama. I played Hu uh, Huarong as well, I want to say, but uh, I never really understood how he worked. I just thought he was cool. Um, and then, you know, when Tekken 7 came out, I wanted to main him, but the game was hard and Huarong is a very difficult character. Now, some people try to convince you that this character is not hard, and that's, that's Cap. I find it, I don't really think you can say a character with as many moves as him and, and his stances and everything isn't a difficult character. Ooh, my guy got electric, so if I see you in the hell suite, wait a minute. Damn, okay, hold up, hold up. He, he bring bringing this back. I, I look really strong in the first suit. What if I, what if I scrub it out real quick? Bow, 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 bum, 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 bum. But yeah, he's a stance character. He's got a really long list of moves. I mean, most characters do in this game, but nice sidestep into the sidestep electric no into no 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 no. wait a minute you got to be using cheats or something macro there, there's no way you're a, a green rank player and you just did sidestep double electric no 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 that's that's just, that just doesn't for those of you who aren't familiar with tekken that just doesn't happen that would be like that would be like a cyberman rank oh he rage quit he rage quit yeah he's 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 definitely using macros and he just rage quit so the what he just did, I like if you if you don't play Tekken, then you might not know. If you play Tekken, I don't have to explain it to you. But to equate it to DBFZ for my DBFZ viewers, what he just did would be the equivalent of uh huh, mm hmm, all right, would be the equivalent of me like you booting up the game, you fight a Cyberman ranked player, and he just TODs you. You know what I'm saying? He like you whiff a two H and he he runs up two M. And, and TODs you for the punish. Like that's that's like some some super high level shit he just did. You don't. He, he's and then he rage quit because he's actually not that great. But it's fine. I was gonna say it. I was I was gonna give him some props and some credit because Kazuya is actually a really difficult character too. He's just as difficult, if not more difficult than Huang, because of his execution. Uh, Tekken itself is an execution heavy game. Maybe not on the level of King of Fighters. I can't really speak on KOF like that. I've never really played it before. When I'm here. It's it's very difficult. I tried out KOF 15 on the beta. Didn't really care for it too much. That's why you guys never really saw me stream it or talk about it or play it at all. It's just, this is not for me. It's not my cup of tea. I didn't enjoy the game. I also don't think it looks very good. Peach Throne, not for me. Moving on past that. Yeah, Tekken is a sick ass game. And I decided I just randomly got the urge to play it right now. And I was like, you know what? I should hop in, hop in a rank, record it, and see how it goes. And I figured I'd see if we can make it past the warrior ranks. Or past warrior rank, I believe the next rank is Vindicator. Um, but yeah, I was a Huarang main. So I started this I started Tekken 7 trying out a few different characters. I wanted to play Huo, but I wasn't that good. 
um, Asuka is actually the character who I ended up picking up because she's really easy. She's a super easy character to learn, very beginner friendly. I got the hang of her very quickly and she was the character I made for maybe like the first year or so of the game. And then as I got more custom with Tekken and, and everything, I started to play more and more Huang. And I'm still not very good. I'm still gonna do a lot of scrubby things. You guys will, will, will see that. I don't know nearly as much about this game as I do about DBFZ or anything like that. I, I don't know a lot of frames and, and all that, but you know, it's a, it's a game that I, I like a lot. I don't know how much I'll be playing it uh, on the channel, but if they ever make a Tekken 8, oh god, the launcher off rip? Okay, he ain't got combos though. Um, if they ever make a Tekken 8, I'm all over it. Streams, videos, like I'm in there. Tekken is one of my favorite franchises. Um, and prior to DBFZ was my favorite fighting game easily and was the game I spent uh, all my time playing. Take this first round over this Oscar play, who's actually two ranks above me. The next rank for me is Vindicator, and then after that is Juggernaut. I believe I did make the Juggernaut before, uh, back when I used to play this game on PlayStation. This is my PC account, which I'm sure you guys noticed by now, but... Hold that? No? Okay. Can you break throws? Ooh, you can break throws. Right. Typical Oscar play. Hold that. Fair. Magic 4, no combo. That's fine. Real game? Nice break. I should have whiff punished that. You know, it's funny, because Asuka is actually supposed to be a very, like, defensive character. But I feel like at the lower levels, everyone's just trying to mash as hard as they possibly can, throw out random launchers, and just aggress, aggress. And I was guilty of that, too, when I when I first picked up Asuka. What if I... Ha! At, at these low ranks, that's, 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 that's something I really shouldn't make a habit of. Oh, shit. Of doing. Um, but at these low ranks, stuff like that, I tried to duck it. I forgot that's a mid. I should. I played. I used to play this character. I should. I don't actually remember what break that is. Breaking throws in tech is hard for me. Wow, parry there. Bum, bum. Shit. Damn. Like that. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Word. That wait, would you get a launch off that? I didn't know that. All right, this guy is mashing parries like crazy. But that's what all the, the low rank Oscar players do. Like I said, I, I did the same thing when I was first learning the character, and that was a random place to throw out a launcher. You know, this rank in any fighting game doesn't really mean a whole lot, right? But I feel like I remember players at these ranks ha having more of a break. <laughs> but granted, this game has been out for so long because Tekken Seven. Came out in arcades in like 2015 and it came to console in like 2017 so even by console standard this is an old game it's five years old so at this point like people have been playing this game like they're obviously going to be much higher ranks and like if you're at if you're at these ranks you're probably either relatively new to the game or you haven't played it in a very long time or you're just bad right uh, at this point because these are still relatively low ranks i mean there was a point in time where it was like oh if you if you can make it to like warrior rank you're probably like a, a somewhat competent tekken player it's still relatively low in the grand scheme of things but it's like you know you're, you're starting to understand how the game works but uh the way this guy's playing is making me believe that you know he's kind of just kind of just doing shit you know what i'm saying throwing stuff out seeing what sticks tossing out a lot of parries i gotta be more patient because i'm not very good at doing chicken because chicken is really difficult on pad by the way, if you don't know what it means to like check in your input, it means basically you push the button opposite of your normal that you're doing. So for example, in this game, one is square. So if I push square to check in the input, I would push square and circle at the same time when I do it. Um, just, just as an example, so you understand the concept. Okay, I gotta be more patient because they're mash and parry a lot. And, the, and at, at this rank, people are always gonna finish their strings as well. Word. Damn, just let that whole thing rock. Bro, what are you doing over there? Okay, they're not okay, they're not aggressive too much. I actually did that just because I wanted to side swap back to P1, because I feel like I'm fighting a Vegito player in DBFZ right now. Just just doing shit. I should have launched that. What am I doing? letting the uh the random just get to me i did not launch that okay hold on i can definitely beat this guy also i just read there's no music why where's my music at oh my god so is it just are they just mashing parry after every time they're negative
gotta be kidding me. Okay, we clutch that round. I can absolutely beat this guy. I just gotta be more cognizant of the parries and prepared to deal with that. Hold this. Thanks. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did that hit me? Why did that hit me? Why was I not blocking? Aw, oh, come on, that's bullshit. There's so much damage. Every character in this game does so much damage now. Granted, it's always been a... That must be a 1 plus 2 break. Fuck, I, I feel like I got severely scrubbed out there. I did. I got hit by almost... I, actually, probably every parry they did, huh? That's fine, though. That's fine. I, I think I could definitely beat this guy. Run it back. Run it back. I fucking hate this stage, though. I said it before. I cannot stand volcano stages in every fighting game. They're going to one and done me, aren't they? Actually, wait. I didn't. I didn't really know. Did the first guy run one and done me too? This is the thing. I know. Actually, I, re I remember a lot of the reason why I stopped playing Tekken. Because for one, everyone's a fucking pussy in this game, right? And when you get to the higher ranks, people have a bit more, like, uh, I don't know, balls for one to some degree. But that's not really the word I'm looking for. They, bit, I don't know. It's like, it is. How do I explain what I want to explain? It's like an unspoken rule that obviously you don't have to follow, but it's just like when you when you get to higher ranks, people are more willing to deathmatch. And what deathmatch means is that you keep playing until one player either gets promoted or demoted, whichever comes first. One you gets promoted or demoted, right? Which it makes more sense to do it when you guys are of equal rank. So like if they were also warrior rank or if I was also a juggernaut rank, it makes more sense. But even then, like two ranks apart is like also it's pretty late in the night as I'm recording this video, so there's no telling how many people are online right now. But like, you know, you usually want a deathmatch. But especially when you do something like that, it's like where you know that you just scrubbed your way to a victory and then you won it. It's like, come on. And that happens a lot in this game. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. But yeah, I feel like people one and done in this game more than any other game I've played. And it happens in every fighting game, right? Rage quits, one and dones. Oh, wait, no, yeah, the, the cause you play rage quit. Rage quitting and one and dunning and shit like that, or just people, you know, just throwing out launchers or you know, their biggest attacks that they really shouldn't work in the scenario, but you might get caught slipping. It's a, uh, something that exists in every fighting game. But I felt like Tekken 7 was the most rage inducing game I played uh, for all the reasons that I just explained. On top of like the online not being the best, and I know I'm, I'm making it sound like maybe this is an awful game you shouldn't play. Tekken 7 is incredible. Despite everything I just said about the game, ooh, a warrior rank. So if we do well here, we get a lot of points. We could potentially rank up and win a few in a row. Tekken 7, it was also the most difficult game I felt like I'd ever played. And Tekken in general was hard, and it's funny because Tekken 7 is one of the easier ones, according to some of the veterans. But it's one of the most rewarding games for that reason. When you do well in this game, it's like, damn, like I, you know, I, I, I did well, like I, I earned that victory. And, you know, again, at the lower levels, we're all just flow charting and mashing shit anyway. Uh, but as you learn more and as you continue to grow, this is the this is the one fighting game I play more than any other where I feel like rank does mean something. It obviously isn't everything, right? But, like, you know, you can make it to a certain degree without really being good at the game or knowing a whole lot about your, your opponent's characters um, if you just flow chart your way to victory, which, you know, a lot of us are, are doing at these ranks. And, like, even using moves like that, like, that move is, like, really bad because, um... Uh, the second hit is duckable and it's extremely punchable for that reason um and it's really punchable on block as well but it's one of those things where like you know the lower level players don't know that so i kind of abuse it but that's like a bad habit to get into as i get the seven golden letters on this marduk player um but yeah Tekken 7 was the game that that, that made me angry and, and rage more than any other game but like when i did well it always felt really good and like whenever i would you know learn something in training mode and then pull it off in an actual match i was like yo like that that felt so good like, e e even more than DBFZ, and I'm way better at DBFZ than I've ever been at this game. Um, but it's just like, I don't know, it, 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 it feels good to do good in this game. Get off me. And I'd like to play it more, but don't hold your breath on, on me doing more content or streaming it more. I've streamed it a few times randomly recently. When I first got more into streaming, I was... I forgot about my back one. I should have used that sooner. I let him clutch that round. Um, he brought that shit all the way back too, huh? Sidestep, launch. Bum, 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 bum. See the pressure? Come on, bro. That move is so cool. Oh, that didn't kill? I didn't even mean to do that, uh, that, um, that power crush. Oh my god, look at the damage. Back up. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised that that worked. I should have died for that. Um, what was I saying?
Oh god. Monica is actually a character in this game I don't have a lot of um, experience against because by the time he came out, I wasn't really playing the game. Oh shit, I didn't need to do that. I wasn't really playing the game that much anymore. Fuck. Dead. Risked on the launcher. If I got in the launcher, I could have killed because I had rage, but it's fine. I'm gonna just go for the firecracker again. Okay, he actually blocked it that time. Yeah, that, that, that move was like. It's like. For people who play the game, it's like pretty telegraphed and like really easy to react to. And you just duck the second part and punish it. Are we to oh wow, we got so many points for that. I think if I beat him one more game, that might be enough to rank up. No, let's let's go for it. Let's go for it. If he if he runs it back, like I said, one and one and done is okay. Okay, he ran it back. He ran it back. I respect it. I respect it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I started several trains of thought that I just like I just went off on tangents and didn't finish. But let me see. No, we don't rank up off this one. I guess we need two more wins. Oh wait, no, we do. We do. And if he's on his demo match, so you'll see like your your rank glows on that screen. It glows red if you're about to promote, and it glows blue when you're about to demote. And then obviously once you get into the, the intros, you get these little banners. Uh, so I could demote him back to the green ranks. He'd be at vanguard. And I would go up to Vindicator. I, th I thought he was just AFK and was just going to let me take the game, which I didn't necessarily want, but I'm not going to disconnect. I'm going to disconnect on my record, so. But it looks like he's actually... Ooh, good punish. That was super good. Also, that move you saw me do just a moment ago when I thought it was AFK, that was an unblockable. And it did a lot of damage. It's super slow, which is why it does that much damage, but it's like, you know, it's something you don't typically actually pull off in, ma in matches. Oh, my God. And he still ended up winning the round. Firecracker? Skyrocket. Back up. Oh, that's still reaching me. Not a big Marduk fan, by the way. I just think this character is really ugly. You already know. I don't have to get into it. If you know me, you know. You already know this, this that type of character would never. Oh God, be my cup of tea. I'm getting bodied. This is the. They call this the the promo debuff. You always you always play ten times worse when you're on promo. Give me that. That power crushes OD. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. I just I just gotta quarrel him to death. I just gotta keep doing strength. As long as I'm on the offense, he doesn't really know what to do, huh? Bum, 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 bum. One. Like I said, if I just if I just do my quarrel flow chart, it looks like I win the pull. I fucked it up. Oh god. Oh god, uh oh, what happens now? He can bring this back very easily. Uh oh. Oh no, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is still safe though, right? They didn't nerf that? Okay, no. We're good. Thrones? Hey, the throw to clutch it. We rank up the vindicator. Let's go. Clutched it. We clutched it, boys. Hey, my first my first Tekken video in like two years because I, I came back to the game when Kunimitsu got added as a DLC, which I believe was season three. It might have. Yeah, I think that was season three. Um, but uh, I made like maybe four or five videos and I was having a good time and I actually recorded more videos that I never ended up uploading just because I never got around to editing them. Uh, but it is what it is. It just be like that when it be like that. But yeah, hey, we ranked up the Vindicator. <laughs> that was fun. But yeah, Tekken 7, is, like I said, it's a difficult game, but it's a very rewarding game. Uh, obviously, like any other game, it has its pros, it has its cons, it has its commonalities with other fighting games at the lower levels that change as you go up to, as you go up in the ranks and so on and so forth. But um, it's a game that holds a special place in my heart. It's a franchise that I, I have a lot of sentimental value for. Growing up playing it as a kid, you know, with my with my dad, and you know, even playing with my brother, like my dad's friends, and then playing, you know, with my friends or whatever. 
and um, you know and, and as a kid being the best um, amongst people I knew and then you know getting older Tekken 7 comes out I'm like yo I'm gonna get nasty at this game realizing how difficult Tekken really is and how much higher the ceiling goes and then getting humbled and be like damn I am ass at fighting games and I still am but you know maybe we could actually make it to the orange ranks or at least to juggernaut I mean we made it to vindicator and I didn't think that was gonna happen but then again acquiring one of those characters like I said well every, every, most characters are at these ranks but like I I started using a flow chart that I used to use, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's, it was working very effectively against him. He just didn't know what to do on defense against it. And there's a lot of holes and gaps in those strings and things that are punishable. But like, if you don't know, you don't know. And it's, I'm going to face characters if I make any more videos or more streams of you guys seeing the same thing happen to me. Um, and it just is what it is. With that being said, I think it's as good a place as any to wrap this video up. All in one, one shot, by the way. I didn't even like make any cuts or anything. But yeah, I just figured I'd throw up a random Tekken video. Because cause why not? It was fun. And we ranked up. So I'll take that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit the video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all this content up when I bring you. With all that being said, that's pretty much all today. And remember, nothing can happen to you when the bad. Later.